सब्सक्राइब कीजिए आर के शॉर्ट हैंड यूट्यूब चैनल को और बेल आइकन पर भी प्रेस कीजिए ताकि आने वाले सभी शॉर्ट हैंड रिलेटेड वीडियोस आप देख सकें सबसे पहले सर सेवरल क्वेश्चंस रेज्ड रिगार्डिंग द डिफेंस मिनिस्ट्री एंड द एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स and irrigation ministries have been clarified by my colleagues from those ministries my task therefore has been simplified to that extent before i go to the questions financial and economic raised by several honorable members i should like to clarify one or two points which are more administrative than economic or financial one of them was raised by my honorable friend he raised the question about the recruitment by the assistant superintendents departmental competitive examination and particularly about the nation held in 1960 he said that about rupees 6 lakhs were spent for the 1960 examination and later it was declared that no vacancies were available he therefore suggested that a definite procedure should be there and the examination should be according to the vacancies declared in advance and all persons who have qualified in that examination should be eligible for promotion or for appointment sir i do not know whether the honorable member knows how these vacancies are filled he probably refers to the section officers grade in the central secretariat 
सर्विस धिस इज फील्ड फिफ्टी परसेंट बाय डायरेक्ट रिक्रूटमेंट एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट बाय डिपार्टमेंटल कंपिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन ओपन टू द असिस्टेंस दैट इज द नेक्स्ट लोअर ग्रेड एंड द रेस्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट बाय प्रमोशन ऑफ द असिस्टेंस ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सीनियरिटी सब्जेक्ट टू फिटनेस द एग्जामिनेशन देर फोर दैट ही वॉज रेफरिंग टू वॉज अ डिपार्टमेंटल कंपिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन फॉर फीलिंग ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द वैकेंसीज इट टेक्स अबाउट वन ईयर फॉर द यूनियन पब्लिक सर्विस कमीशन टू डिक्लेयर द रिजल्ट ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन फ्रॉम द टाइम दे टेक अप द क्वेश्चन ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन इट इज नॉट देअर फोर पॉसिबल टू डिक्लेयर द नंबर ऑफ वैकेंसीज टू बी फील्ड इन फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगिनिंग टू डिक्लेयर देम जस्ट वेन द रिजल्ट आर out is more realistic and that is what is done sir if the examination is treated as qualifying examination the number of persons who will thus become eligible for appointment will be quite unrelated to the number of vacancies to be filled in and then very situation which the honorable member wishes to avoid the arise it would not then be possible to hold any of the examinations at regular 
intervals and promotions against this quota would become very fitful